Welcome to the new challenge. In the previous track, you learned about backup technology and backup services. In this track, we'll continue talking about backup services. You'll learn about backup service implementation models and storage implementation models. So let's get started. Implementation models for Acronis Backup Cloud are defined by the partner type, as well as the availability of necessary infrastructure in the partner's possession. There are three implementation models offered by Acronis. The first model, Acronis Backup Cloud Acronis Hosted Model, is designed for those partners who don't have their own cloud infrastructure. In this case, both the backup management software and the storage are hosted at Acronis. The pricing model is per gigabyte and per device, depending on the preferences and business models of the partners, with minimum monthly commitments preset. In this model, the costs per gigabyte are higher. This model is most beneficial for partners who prefer the OPEX model. The pricing for the end users is still defined by the service provider, however. The second model is the Acronis Backup Cloud Hybrid Model. It's designed for partners who have their own cloud storage. In this case, the backup management software is hosted at Acronis, whereas the backup storage is hosted at the service provider. The pricing model is similar to the Acronis Backup Cloud Acronis Hosted Model. The major difference is that in the case of the hybrid model, the cost per gigabyte are lower. This model is most beneficial for partners who are looking for a balance between OPEX and CAPEX models. The pricing for end users is still defined by the service provider. Finally, the Cronus Backup Cloud Service Provider Hosted Model is designed for those partners who have their own cloud infrastructure. In this case, both backup management software and storage are hosted by the service provider. The pricing model is custom with upfront costs for deployment and recurring maintenance fees. This model is most beneficial for partners who are looking for a total CapEx model. The pricing for end users is also still defined by the service provider. Let us have a closer look at the main advantages and target audiences for each of these. Let's start with the Acronis hosted model. Since you don't need any infrastructure to offer your backup services to your customers, there's no upfront costs or hardware requirements. However, this model is the fastest to implement. It is an easy and reliable source of new recurring revenue. And if you decide to do it, we can have you up and running as quickly as today. The Acronis Backup Cloud Acronis Hosted model is targeted at small and medium-sized managed service providers and system integrators that would like to provide backup services but don't have the necessary infrastructure to do so. By using this model, MSPs can expand their services portfolio and differentiate themselves from their competitors by offering high-quality backup services, increasing average revenue per user, and reducing their churn rate. Now let's take a look at the hybrid model. Since backup storage is hosted in the service provider's data center, there are no upfront storage costs. Moreover, the service provider has full control over their storage. This model can be implemented very fast and can be considered to be an easy and reliable source for new recurring revenue. The Cronus Hybrid Cloud hybrid model is targeted to small and medium-sized hosting and cloud service providers that would like to leverage their own cloud storage capacities but have no infrastructure or resources to manage the backup software piece on its own. By using this model, hosting and cloud service providers can expand their services outside of hosting and primary cloud services and differentiate themselves from their competitors by offering complete hosting and cloud services, increase their average revenue per user, and reduce the churn rate. Finally, let's look at the service provider hosted model. Since both backup management software and storage are hosted in the service provider's data center, the upfront costs might be high. However, the recurring fees are the lowest comparing to the other models. The service provider has full control over both the software solution and the storage. As a result, it can provide a full range of professional implementation services. This model might take some time to implement. However, it is also an easy and reliable source of new recurring revenue. The Cronus Cloud Service Provider hosted model is targeted at larger cloud service providers, telecommunication and internet providers that would like to utilize their own cloud infrastructure for both backup and the storage. By using this model, cloud service providers and telecommunication and internet providers can expand their services portfolio outside of their primary cloud, telco, or internet services and differentiate themselves from their competitors by offering value-added services, increasing average revenue per user, and reducing the churn rate. Let's take a look at the storage implementation models themselves. There are two storage implementation models offered by Acronis, the service provider backend and Acronis storage backend. In the first case, the Acronis storage gateway software is installed in the data center of the service provider. 
It enables the back end of the data center, for example, Microsoft Azure, Amazon S3 storage, local directories, or mounted file systems to act as a destination for the backups. In the second case, a Kernis storage software is installed on a set of commodity servers within the service provider data center and enables those servers to act as the destination for backup. Moreover, it provides some additional protection via redundancy. Well, that's it for this track. Let's move on to the next one.